Hey guys, welcome back. Houston Math Prep here. In this video, we're going to talk about the Euclidean algorithm, which is an algorithm for finding the greatest common factor of two or more numbers. This method can be specifically useful when we're dealing with very large numbers. So let's jump in. If we have A and B, both non-zero whole numbers, and if A can be rewritten as B times Q plus R, that is, if A and B are not multiples of each other, then the greatest common divisor of A and B is equivalent to the greatest common divisor of B and R, where B is the smaller of the two numbers of A and B, and R is the remainder when the division of those two values is complete. This allows us to find the GCD of large numbers by reducing them down to smaller, more manageable numbers in an organized and efficient way. Now this is probably most easily understood through example, so let's jump in. Let's find the greatest common divisor of 888 and 54. Now certainly, you could definitely do this by finding the prime factorization of each or by using the set intersection method. However, we're going to do this with the Euclidean algorithm. So the greatest common divisor of 888 and 54, using the Euclidean algorithm, let's rewrite 888 as 54 times something plus a remainder. Well, if we do our long division, 888 divided by 54 is 16 remainder 24. So 888 can be re rewritten as 54 times 16 plus 24. So our GCD of 888 and 54 is equal to the GCD of 54 and 24. Now, those are much more manageable, and at this point you could stop and use the prime factorization method or any other method that you like, but we could also continue. We could rewrite 54 as 24 times some number plus another number. Well, 24 times 2 is 48, which leaves us with a remainder of 6. So now, getting even smaller here, GCD of 24 and 6 is equivalent to our GCD of 888 and 54. Now again, you could stop here, do the prime factorization, and go from there. However, we could also try going one more time. 24 would be equal to 6 times 4, but 6 times 4 is 24, so here we get a remainder of 0. That tells us that we have reached the two smallest numbers that we can use. So at this point, we have to find our GCD using one of our other methods. In either way, we would get that our GCD for 24 and 6 is 6, and by the Euclidean algorithm, that means that the GCD of 888 and 54 is equal to 6. All right, let's see if we can do that one more time. Let's check out the Euclidean algorithm for finding the GCD or greatest common divisor of 1,180 and 482. So starting off, we're going to rewrite 1,180 as 482 times something plus something. Doing our long division there, that's going to be times 2 with a remainder of 216. That means that the GCD of 1,180 and 482 is equal to the greatest common divisor of 482 and the remainder of 216. Continuing the process, 482 written as 216 times something plus a remainder gives us 216 times 2 plus a remainder of 50. So now we have the GCD of 216 and 50. Getting better, but we can continue. 216 can be rewritten as 50 times 4 plus a remainder of 16. So now we have that our original GCD is equal to the greatest common divisor of 50 and 16. Rewriting 50 as 16 times something plus something, we get 50 is 16 times 3 plus 2. 
So we have that our original greatest common divisor is now the greatest common divisor of 16 and 2. Since 16 is a multiple of 2, we can no longer go any lower, and we can see that our greatest common divisor is 2. So that means that the greatest common divisor of 1,180 and 482 is 2. All right, guys, well, that does it for this video on the Euclidean algorithm as a method for finding greatest common divisor. Until next time, we'll catch you in a future video.